You have my commitment that the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund will work every day to continue to support those who have suffered TPI and PTS. I assure you, as I have in the past, nothing will stop us. I thank you for your devotion to this country. Major Stephen Taylor shared his experience at NICO in Bethesda to all of us. He spoke of the treatment and the care he received and how critical these additional intrepid <coughs> spirits were to his fellow servicemen and women with TBI and PTS. Today, a year later, we are very happy to announce the Intrepid Spirit facility at Camp Lejeune. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. And <coughs> we need to keep this connection between NICO and Intrepid Spirits. There's going to be nine of them around the country. Two are open now. The third <coughs> one is in the ground. The fourth one will start next year, and we'll continue till we do all nine of them. So thank you from, believe it or not, an honorary Marine. Um, this is truly a special gift uh, from the American people, and, uh, and we, are, we are truly indebted to their contributions. And it's a distinct pleasure to be here today to mark yet, folks, this is yet another great milestone in the pursuit of providing better care for our Marines and sailors. And, uh, and I am personally honored to help launch this Intrepid Spirit Concussion Recovery Center. As, uh, as Mr. Fisher mentioned, there are, this is just one of many centers around the country. But this one's special because it's ours. It's ours here at Camp Lejeune. We have the largest concentration in the Marine Corps of our ill and injured and wounded Marines. So Mr. Fisher, thank you for we're putting the priority of putting one here as one of your lead efforts throughout the country. And NICO, again, continues to take the lead in research, continues to take the lead in, in advancing TBI and psychological health treatment, research, and education. Uh, and today's, symbol, today's ceremony is really a collective symbol of our expanding capabilities and, and capacities and fulfilling the vision, the vision of Mr. Fisher, uh, the vision of the, of the fund, vision to try to ensure that we have the capacity and capability to treat all our ill and injured and wounded service members. So, so let's join today in this momentous occasion. We need to remember though that it's, that it's more than, than just about this facility behind me. Uh, it's about decisive engaged leadership, it's about innovation, it's about taking a holistic approach to keeping faith with our service members uh, now and into the future. To formally dedicate the Intrepid Spirit Center, we ask our official party to join in the ceremonial ribbon cutting. The cutting of this ribbon symbolizes the completion of the construction and the equipping of this center and the transfer of ownership from the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund to the Department of Defense for operation. If I could now ask some of the official party to come forward for the ribbon cutting. Joining Captain Lane, Mr. Fisher, and General Castelby, are Mr. David Winters, Brigadier General Love, Captain Johnson, Captain Fonts, Commander Cloyd, Staff Sergeant Vega Pacheco, Staff Sergeant Forrest, Major General Clark. Ha <laughs> ha! 